Hey guys, my name is Chelsea and I am in the parking lot of the thrift store. Today I have a very special guest with me and it is my mom. Hi moms. So we are going to go inside and see what goodies we can find. Let's go thrifting. Ooh, this is a really nice piece. This is actually quite heavy. What does that say? Silverstein? That's a cute little basket. How much is it? Ooh, that's a big one. How much is it, Ma? $9.99. I definitely have too many coffee mugs, but I can't help but still look at them every time. This is really pretty. This is like a collection of mugs. What's that, Ma? What you got there? These are all really cool. About $4.99 each. Look at how big these two lamps are here. I wish I had a place for them. This is super cute. I'm just trying to think of what I have that would be small enough to go in here. Maybe cotton balls. These are really pretty, but I'm thinking that these are definitely not vintage. Can't tell what that symbol is. The patina on this piece is so pretty, but there's nothing here that this lid belongs to, so I'm not sure what went with it. I wonder if this came in with that picture because it really looks finished and kind of aged the same. Them. all right guys it's time to do the haul it's a couple days later i really wish i would have thought about it and i could have had my mom showed you the things she got but of course by the time i had that idea she was already gone so i'll just go ahead and show you what i got so i picked up this really cute salt and pepper shaker set really simple kind of beige color with the brown stripe around it. I tend to buy my seasonings in bulk and it's great for cooking but when you just want you know a little sprinkle of salt on your food it's like this giant salt container trying to use and it's ridiculous so I really needed a set of these and then also I got the matching little like cream or milk pitcher. I think this set is so cute. I love how simple it is and it's getting nicer out. I would love to maybe sometimes have coffee on my deck in the morning so I can use this and take my milk outside for my coffee. The set of the salt shakers was $1.99 and this was $1.99 as well. I also brought home this really pretty mug. I love all the texture on this. I also tend to really like wide mugs for some reason. I don't know what it is. I'm just very attracted to wider mugs, but it's a nice neutral color. I love the texture and a piece like this is really just up my alley. This mug was also $2.99. I got these two frames and this one is just a really simple wooden one. And this one is kind of like a vintage older gold or brass frame both really simple you guys know i collect frames pretty much every trip that i go on these are almost what i call detail frames 
basically larger scale art in a room tends to take up a lot of space of course but these smaller frames I think are perfect for little areas in your home where maybe you have a blank wall, maybe on your backsplash where your countertop is. Just pictures in areas that add little details I think bring in some finishing touches to your home. So I love collecting smaller frames for those things. Uh, both frames, oh no, this frame was $1.99 and this frame was $2.99. All right, let's see who recognizes this piece. This is actually the little cup from my last thrifting video that I said was really cute, but there wasn't a price tag on it. It was there this time with a price tag, so I thought, you know what, since it was there, it must, it's just meant to be for me. It was $1.99, and I'm gonna show you a close-up of the patina on this. It's looking way more silvery on camera. You're not getting a true idea of the color. It looks almost like a bronzy, silvery with like flecks of amber in it. It doesn't look like that on camera. It looks very silvery there, but it's such a pretty piece. I feel like you can use this just as maybe on top of books as a little decor piece or maybe in a bathroom with some q-tips or a kitchen with some toothpicks or maybe some small like espresso spoons this is really tiny but i think this is a piece you can move around in a lot of different ways then i picked up this candle holder wall sconce piece the details around the perimeter here these kind of dotted details are really pretty i do wish there had been two of them but that's all right. I think what I can do is find kind of a really specific, maybe isolated wall in my home in a small spot and just put this up here as kind of like an accent in the area. I think that would probably work, but I'm definitely going to have to find the right spot for it since there is only one of them. And this was $3.99. Then I brought home this really beautiful serving set. And I'll show you how old this one is. Look at the space where this was sitting and look at that gorgeous patina that has formed around it. You can tell that that has been there for quite some time. This set is just so beautiful. Although I am finding that you can't see these pieces, like the true to color pieces as well here. You can see this area, but all around here, there is a really gorgeous patina as well, but you just can't see it that well on camera for some reason, so I'm sorry about that. This set was $3.99. I also got this gorgeous pitcher. This is a nice and heavy piece. This was $3.99 as well. There is something written on the bottom. It looks like it might be a name, but it's like handwritten. I mean, it's in Sharpie, so I don't think that has anything necessarily to do with the maker, but more like the owner probably, but really just such a beautiful piece. Then I got this tray, which I know you saw footage of. This tray was $3.99. My mom actually found this, so who knows, maybe I'll end up giving it to her if she wants it. But I've been on the hunt for a flat tray, maybe for my dining room table to kind of just corral stuff in. Things just look so much more organized when they're inside of a tray for some reason. But I really needed a larger flat one and I love the metal detail around this. I think it's really nice. I like the handles and then the inside is just this really natural colored kind of like woven material. So this is really exactly what I was looking for. Then I got another basket. This one is just a little one. I got this with the intention of actually just being like a little waist pail. I need one for inside the office for under my desk. I always have to leave the room to throw things away. So this is just a simple woven little basket. And this was only $2.99. And then I got another basket. And it's this one. This is one of those baskets that sits on your step. It is a little 
crooked in the one area so I'm gonna see if maybe I can put something heavy in it and it'll kind of flatten back out. This was actually $9.99 so more expensive than usual for the thrift store but I really like the color of it. I like the size of it. I have two different ideas. One would be to, of course, put it on my steps inside for kind of like things that need to go upstairs. Leave me a comment and let me know if you're a person or people in your house put things on the bottom of the stairs because they have to go up and then sometimes you forget and things collect there. That happens here sometimes. So I might put this here or I was thinking I could put it on my deck and maybe put some plants in it, although then I would really want to bring it inside when it was supposed to rain, so that could be a little bit of upkeep. So I have to think about if that's something that I really want to do, but this was such a cute basket and I love the little handle on it, so two different ideas for this one. All right, and last but not least is actually a piece that's not here. I'm gonna put up some footage right here for you. It is this little antique chair that I think is adorable. This was only $1.99. I love the details on it. It's just so cute. It is really dirty. That's why it's down in my garage. It does need to be wiped down a bit before I bring it inside. But I like how small it is because I feel like it could be a great accent chair for somewhere that's maybe an empty corner, maybe in the guest room just as a little extra place if someone needs to sit down, maybe put on their shoes. I just think there's a lot of options for a smaller chair like this, but I thought it was beautiful and at $1.99, I had to bring it home. All right, that is everything. I have such a good time thrifting with my mom. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. If you want to see more content from me you can go ahead and subscribe to my channel otherwise I will see you guys for the next video I hope you take care of yourself in the meantime see you then